You're listening to LA's new talk station, KFI Los Angeles. We're your Raider station, and we're talking Southern California. Now, back to Tom Likas. 548, 12 now before 6 o'clock, the all new KFI AM 640. I'm Tom Likas. In the meantime, we're talking graffiti here, and with us are a variety of graffiti writers, including Plex and Whisk and the Phantom. They're all here uh, defending their. Uh, what they call art. Some people are calling vandalism. People are getting very upset about it. Let's take your calls at 1-800-553-4640. I personally was raised to respect other people's property. So now, I'm addressing this to the gentleman who said that he's bombing all over town. I take that to mean flagrant um, graffiti or paintings, murals, whatever you want to call them, wherever you see fit. Is that correct? Yeah. I started tagging, trying to, you know, make myself know. So, like, I see, all, you know, pieces burning, you know. After a while, you just see a tag, and you look at a piece for fame, you can't compare that. People don't like that. It looks, uh, I can understand it looks bad, but it's fun. <laughs> it's fun to write your name on things. It's not about violence, dude. It's, it's yeah. about art, you know. Police shouldn't affiliate us with gangs and stuff, because it's not, it has nothing to do with gangs. night and do these illegally but then we got kind of sick of it i mean there's nothing yeah nobody you know, there's nothing here and there's no reason really why why you can't do graffiti here so we went about asking the people over here if they knew who owned this land and, and like the station yeah, over the here station. and like finally we just got in touch with who owned the lot and got yeah. permission about about half of the layers of paint on here are, have been done during the daytime, and believe me, there's uh, there's a lot of coats of paint on here. <laughs> it's funny though, because we could still, I mean, the police could come here anytime. I mean, we don't actually have written documentation on us. Like, if so, if a police officer came and said, "Do you have permission on a piece of paper?" and we said, "No," nah, I mean, they could take us to jail, basically, really. But it's funny. I mean, police go by and they see us doing this in the daytime. And they figure, oh. We've, it must be legal for this crazy to be out in the daytime spray painting on a wall. There's some stuff I did right there to, just to get my name up in this yard. Flex means to be sort of worried, watching out, be aware of what's going on. Perplexed, you're just always aware of the situation. And my friends always call me that. I've stuck with that name ever since. See, I have a sort of moral code about graffiti. I don't write on people's houses. I don't write on schools and I don't write on churches because that's people's like it's people's stuff. But trash cans, bus benches, mailboxes, things, uh, light poles, places like this. Yeah, city-owned stuff. That's that's legal. That's legal tender, man. You just go around. So in about eighth grade, I just started writing on everything. Got into a lot of trouble. I don't know. That doesn't get you. Just got a name. Started writing on everything in junior high. Just got into that. Started seeing the art aspect of it. And I've been raised an artist. Both my parents are artists. So I started Good artist seeing that. Yeah, I've been starting to see the art aspect of graffiti. So I got into that. Bought paint. Started doing pieces. That seemed a lot more fucking a lot more creative than just writing on everything. Plus, I was about to get kicked out of school for that, so I stopped doing that. Started piecing. 